Welcome to another edition of the Sports Web. I'm Peter Blake. Thank you very much for checking in. So, third time's the charm for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as they get their first win at home in 2016 as they blow out the Chicago Bears 36 to 10. I'll give you three reasons why this happened on Sunday. My number one reason would be the defense. In fact, this unit on Sunday was fantastic. And the last couple weeks, it's been rough. But in this game, they had four takeaways, three sacks, a pick six, and a safety. And I talked about this last week, ladies and gentlemen, about playmakers on this team stepping up, that they had those playmakers, and those playmakers stepped up on Sunday. Guys like Robert Ayers, Noah Spence, Brent Grimes, and Chris Conti. If this team can get that type of defense on any given week, they're going to be in a lot of football games. My number two reason would be Jameis Winston. 23 for 33, 312 yards and two touchdowns. And he threw to nine different receivers. And saying that, if you watch this game, you were in for a treat because you saw one of the most amazing plays in the NFL. Winston goes back 25 yards in his own end zone, escapes two sacks, and still manages to find Mike Evans for a 38-yard strike. And saying that with his two touchdowns, Winston becomes the youngest NFL quarterback in NFL history to throw for 40 touchdowns in his career. This is why people believe that Winston is not only a franchise quarterback now, but for the foreseeable future. And my number three reason would be Cameron Bray. Seven catches for 84 yards and one touchdown, which means he had six touchdowns in the year. And when Braid is a reliable target, he's taking the pressure off of Mike Evans, and this offense needs that. And saying that, they got a tough task next week because they got to be road warriors and go on the road and face the Kansas City Chiefs. It was good for them to get a win. Now it's time for them to carry over the momentum next Sunday. For another edition of the Sports Web, I'm Peter Blake, giving you something to think about. And how many people thought that the Bucks are going to lose this game versus the Bears. And if they did, would they win another home game again?